Garnet Engine. A Garnet heat engine is a practical arrangement to convert heat into mechanical work. Sadi Garnet devised an ideal heat engine free from all imperfectness of the actual heat engines, and hence it is not possible to generate such an engine in actual practice. Garnet's heat engine consists of five main parts, namely the cylinder, source, sink, working substance and an insulating pad. Let us now learn about these main parts. Cylinder. The main part of the Carnot's engine is a cylinder with perfectly insulating walls and perfectly conducting base. It is fitted with a perfectly insulating and frictionless piston. Source. The source is a very hot body maintained at a fixed higher temperature and has infinite thermal capacity. By infinite thermal capacity, we mean that any amount of heat can be taken out of it without changing the temperature of the source. Sink. It is a body at a lower temperature T2 and it also has infinite thermal capacity. That is, any amount of heat can be added to it without changing its temperature. Working substance. The working substance in the Carnot engine is the ideal gas which absorbs heat from the source, does some mechanical work and rejects the remaining amount of heat into the sink. Insulating pad or insulating stand. During the operation of the Carnot cycle, the working substance undergoes adiabatic expansion and adiabatic compression. The cylinder is placed on a perfectly non-conducting stand which thermally isolates the working substance inside the cylinder from the surroundings. To get continuous supply of work, the working substance is taken through a series of operations called the Carnot cycle. The Carnot cycle consists of two reversible isothermal and two reversible adiabatic processes. Shown here is a Carnot cycle obtained when an ideal gas is used as the working substance. The ideal gas is taken inside a cylinder fitted with a piston.